Emmanuel. My name is Sunday Thomas. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And here with me is Michael Onobolo. He's a brother-in-law to me. He lives in Canada. So one day I received a call from my mother-in-law. I was in Atlanta. She lives here in Nigeria. And when I received that call, she was telling me Michael was sick. I was wondering what happened to Michael. And she doesn't want to tell me. So I have to call Michael's dad in Canada. So he told me everything, so I was so concerned because Michael is a very brilliant student and he, uh, he has mental uh, disorder. And he has met with personalities in, in Canada. He has met with mayor, governor, ministers because he's very brilliant. So what I have to do, and I have anointed water with me in Atlanta, so I, I have to go to FedEx and next day the anointed water to Michael's mom. So when she received it the next day by 10 a.m. in Canada time, so he went straight to where Michael was. And I told, I told her that, use this anointed water by saying, cover Michael with the blood of Jesus. Heal Michael in Jesus' name. And she did exact that. And Michael was healed immediately. So Michael was healed from mental disorder in psychiatric hospital. So everybody was so surprised after using the anointed water. So when I had the information, I told, her mom, I told his mom that we have to come to Lagos for confirmation. That's why we're here today. My name is Michael Anabolu. I'm from Canada. I was born in Canada. I was suffering from mental disorder because I started to abuse drugs. I smoked weed. I got involved with bad friends. After I tried to, decided to quit, I started to feel the withdrawal symptoms. I didn't know what was happening. I was rushed to the emergency. I was not speaking. I was having delusions. I was suffering from psychosis. After two months, I received the anointing water. I drank of the anointing water, and suddenly I started to feel better. I started to feel at peace. Ever since then, I feel better. My consciousness is awake, and I feel acutely stronger. I no longer smoke, and I no longer do drugs. It's not only being delivered, but he's now seeing his past life as satanic. This is a relationship forever. This thing is common among the, the youth, the young generation today. Drug abuse, drug addict. I want you to educate the world about this. The need to stop this and the need to accept God. After my healing, my mom told me how I used to behave. I was casting out demons. I was seeing all sorts of funny things. I was talking anyhow. But now, I want to advise the people of the world, the youth of the world, do not touch drugs. Do not get involved with bad friends. You do not take weed. Your future is bright without it. Your life is better without it. It puts a hole in your pocket and it puts a hole in your life. Don't do it. When I was abusing drugs, I was wasting my time. I was wasting my life. I was spending lots of money, money I didn't have. I was, I was spending less time with good friends. I was spending more time on my own. It literally stopped my life. My, my grades started to decrease. I thought I was on top of the world, but I was below it. I tell you people now, don't do it. It is a waste of time. It is not necessary. What is necessary is family, love of God, and to see the beauty of life. Don't destroy your life. 